So for someone who experiences itchiness after bathing, I actually made a research on this to find out the causes and the treatment and that is what I'll be sharing with you in this video. So if you're someone who experiences this, then you have to stay with me till the end of this video so you get to know all of that detail. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and I make videos based on my learning experiences as a medical laboratory science student and also my general learning experiences. So in this video, I'm just going to tell you like the causes and the treatments for this itchiness after bathing. If you're someone who experiences this, I know how discomforting it can be. I know how you know embarrassing sometimes it could actually be. Some of the things that can be attributed to this itchiness. So first of all, if you're someone who uses hot water to bathe regularly and you have a dry skin, so what this does is that it dries up the natural oils present in your skin, leaving you with this itchy feeling after bathing. Something else that can cause this itchiness is soap sensitivity. So this basically means, you know, reaction to your soap. Maybe you might be using a soap that is, you know, harsh and all that. And yeah, you may not even actually know. Like after bathing, you start experiencing all this. We have something else that can be attributed to this itchiness, which is the aquagenic urticaria. Like this is, you know, basically reaction to water. There is no known cause for it. And the characteristic feature of this is like the presence of hives. So when you come in contact with water, no matter the temperature, like if it's weather hot or cold water, you start to feel that itchiness. So, and when you're scratching, you actually see some reddish coloration on your skin. And that is what is called hives. So like when water comes in contact with your skin, that is when you notice this itchiness. And this is what is called the aquagenic urticaria. And something else that can be attributed to this itchiness is called the aquagenic rhizos. So previously I mentioned aquagenic urticaria and now I'm mentioning aquagenic urites. So not to confuse you guys, it still has to do with reaction with water. But the difference here is that, you know, in urticaria, you're noticing, you know, certain things like a reddish something on your skin. But in rites, you don't notice anything. Like this is the type I actually feel. Like when I'm scratching, I'm not seeing anything on my skin. I don't know if it's a mosquito bite. I don't know if it's something, you know, an insect. Like you just keep on scratching and there is nothing. It's a crazy experience, honestly. So yeah, that is something else that can attribute to this itchiness. This aquagenic right to studies have shown that this itchiness is as a result of overactivation of the nervous system. Like when water comes in contact with your skin, your nervous system gets activated and begins to release certain neurotransmitters that you know may activate your skin and starts causing itchiness. So that is something else. There are also some underlying disease conditions that may also be attributed to this itchiness. So first is the Hodgkin's lymphoma so this is basically cancer of the lymphatic system so that is something that can trigger itchiness as well and secondly we can also have the polycythemia vera so this is basically an excessive production of red blood cell in your system so this might be one of the things that may be causing this itchiness after bathing so now I'm going to talk about the treatment options but bear in mind that there is no one-way treatment to this people react to hot water while some people react to cold water so like these things I'm going to mention now you just have to find out which one works for you it's more like a trial and error so you have to find out the particular one that works for you so the first treatment option I have here is the hot therapy so this hot therapy just involves you know making use of heat pads you know you can use hot water to bathe if you react with cold water. personally i react when i use cold water to bathe i have that itchiness so you can use hot water you can also use hand dryers like when you finish bathing you can use these hand dryers and clean your body and the next treatment option i'm going to talk about is a cold therapy so now like if you have itchiness when you use hot water to bathe you might consider you know the cold therapy which is like using cold water to bathe you know you can also use a cold compressed like the ice packs so yeah the next treatment option I'll be talking about here is the use of beta alanine so this is a supplement that actually helps you know to bring relief to this itchiness you can also consider using topical creams like the hydrocortisone if you experience this itchiness you can apply it on that area where you're feeling it and it brings some relief to this thing something else you can consider is 
making use of antihistamine drugs like the loratadine that is something else that can bring relief to this problem you can also consider using beta blockers like the propanolol it's you know also brings you relief to this problem something else you can consider using especially if you you're having reactions with your soap you can consider changing soaps you know like trying out different soaps until you find something that works for you and also if you you're someone who has a dry skin you can consider you know past drying like after bathing you gently dry off the water on your body something else you might also consider is using a softer sponge also if you're someone who you know has a dry skin so something else you can do is also wearing loose fitting clothes like i, I experienced this you know when i wear tight clothes or tight shoes when i start noticing it i just loosen up you know i loosen up my shoes i kind of change that clothes and since then i've been trying to avoid you know wearing tight fitted clothes so yeah i go by wearing loose fitting clothes and also using hot water to bathe and to crown it all like you actually have to stay hydrated you have to drink water always because this actually helps you to maintain that moistness on your skin so like yeah these are some of the things that you can do to bring relief to this itchiness and if you're noticing this itchiness even after you've done this you know all these treatment options like you might consider seeing a doctor because like i said it might be an underlying disease condition you know so you have to actually get tested and be sure that you're not sick of something that might be triggering this itchiness and also please before you use any of these drugs you have to get a doctor's prescription you don't just go and you know self-medicate please so yep that is you know basically everything you need to know about this itchiness so i want to know your experiences with this itchiness like you can drop it in the comment section you know like yeah i know i'm not the only one who experiences this itchiness and i know how discomforting it can be so i also want to know like you know the treatment option that you are choosing to go with and i also want to know like if there is anything that you actually do to bring relief to this itchiness and i didn't mention it here you can also if you like here. this video please give me a thumbs up so i can also reach a greater audience please subscribe to my channel so you get more of health related content and you can also share this video for people so that they get informed on this so yeah and you can also check out my videos on the screen right now so that you also get informed about your health so i'll see you guys in my next video